Hi everyone, um, I'm Mizu. So um, actually some of you might know me as April. Uh, so thank you for joining the keynote today. Um, so yeah, um, actually uh, some of you might know me uh, as April because uh, I used to work in crypto.com for around three years. After that, I joined uh, Bancor, the AMM, the OG AMM. And then I joined um, a local exchange, Hashkey for a bit, and uh, I realized that DeFi is my calling. So I have been back to DeFi for a year with Sushi. And um, yeah, very happy to be here to deliver the, the keynote. So yeah, let's start the keynote. So you might be wondering why is Sushi here? And um, because we're not an app chain, right? We are a D app. And uh, what is SUSE? So I'm just going to walk you guys through um, all of these. And before that, I think the focus is really on like how all these um, app chains, the benefit of it can be delivered by working with a D app. So um, we will be catching up with uh, what is the latest with Sushi. What is SUSE, what is Layer N, and um, what's next for both of us? So a lot of people still remember Sushi like three years and a half ago with their vampire attack and uh, how they kind of um, took liquidity from Uniswap overnight, right? But actually since then, Sushi has evolved a lot. And right now it is a leading multi-chain DEX um, that deploy across 30 plus chains. So because we are Ethereum native, uh, a lot of chains that we have deployed on includes Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, Base, um, Linear Scroll, all these L2s, and the latest Blast. So we are actually pretty quick to go to market. I think Blast, we were like day one or day two. So um, yeah, a lot of Ethereum L2s that we have deployed on. And we've also ventured into um, other non-EVM chains like Aptos last year and also some of the uh, Bitcoin ecosystem like Seda Chain and Core. So yeah, here are all the logos, uh, protocols, company that we have worked with. And I think there are more, I, yeah, I haven't, I think there are still a few more, but uh, yeah, it's not updated. And uh, so what does it mean by, you know, deploying on all these chains? So it actually makes user a lot easier to trade across all the different chains. They don't have to go to you know the dex, uh, the native dex of the chain. Instead, they can just go to Sushi and just you know click on the drop down menu, switch the network, and trade on 30 different chains, 30 plus actually. And in Sushi, we have a special unique product called Sushi X Swap, which is a cross chain swap that allows you to swap across seven major chains including Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, Base, um, and Avalanche. Um, right now, we are trying to add more. I think very soon, we will have around 30. So it's still being developed. But uh, yeah, we are trying to also include the non-EVM ones, which actually allows you to swap super easily. And the use case for a lot of people is that um, you know, whenever there's like a new chain that they want to ape into, uh, it's very easy for them to transfer their asset. And when they want to consolidate back their asset, it also provides a very simple UI for them. Um, as you can see, you just, you know, choose the two different chains and swap, that's it. So super easy. And it's been alive for a while, so uh, make sure you try it out if you haven't. So just a recap of, you know, the sushi current state is that we are leading the multi-chain expansion and then we have this unique um, cross-chain swap feature. And also we are focusing a lot on um, trading, uh, trading product. So we are a AMM, of course we have V2, V3, and we are also going to have V4 very soon. Um, and we are working on a lot of DEX infrastructure to improve the user experience for trader and LPs. So a lot of toolings for them. So just uh, where well, you can look at the sushi menu, right? And um, I'm not going to go through everything, but just to show you an overview. So on that side, um, it's more like, you know, traditional AMM products. Um, you know, V2, V3, sushi bar, the staking product, 
that allows you to um, stack sushi and um, reference sharing with the protocol and uh, streaming service that we have been um, using for a while, a creator for a while called Sushi Pay. And then on this side, it's more like new product um, that has been released like last year, this year. Um, so we have this uh, V3 um, uh, liquidity manager called Smart Pools, which helps you to manage your position in V3. I'm sure if you guys are LP, you guys know like it's not very easy to catch up with uh, the Wi-Fi position. And then we also have Sushi Bonds. And the last one is SUSA, which is coming soon. So today I'm going to focus on SUSA. So what is SUSA? SUSA is actually a sushi product, and it's a perp stack powered by Layer N. And um, so yeah, just a few highlights. will be the fully on-chain order book, Perpetual Dex. Um, which means that all the tra transactions will be recorded on the Ethereum blockchain for better security and no off-chain compromises. And because of the speed that Layer N is providing, we could do a lot uh, of new features that only C5 or you know, SEX um, can, use, uh, can do. So we can catch up with them. And then last one is, uh, this is going to make the existing Sushi community very happy because um, we are going to leverage on the existing infrastructure uh, resources on the current Sushi platform, um, kind of bring it across to the new SUSE product. So make sure you sign up uh, on SUSE and try it out, and then you will be, yeah, um, you'll be surprised. Oops, sorry. So what is Layer N? I think, um, yeah, earlier uh, Cecilia has already, from Layer N, she has already gone through this. But just a quick recap, it is an execution layer, execution layer for um, XVM Rollup. And I'm going to walk you guys through like, what this means in the lens of NDF. So I'm not going to you know, walk you guys through what is Ethereum and the layers. I'm going to focus on like, the pain points of um, the current, you know, like um, L1, uh, L2s. So um, right now, I think we, we all know that if you're trading um, on Ethereum, the gas fee is really a problem because, you know, like you can be trading like a $10 of um, transaction, but the gas fee could be a $100. It makes totally no sense. And meaning that only whales will be using it and also like um, yeah, the, like, uh, the, that, that, why is that like a scaling problem, right? And also second problem is that, um, I think earlier, um, Ave already talked about that, that um, the L2s are very fragmented and it causes problem to, um, there are two main problems. First is the user experience that they have to do a lot of bridging and also um, second, the second more important, I guess, bigger problem for DEXs is that the liquidity is all fragmented and like liquidity in DeFi or I guess like in the, yeah, in, in DEX uh, is a lifeblood and without that or with a big problem like that, DeFi is very hard to scale as well. So jokes on me, I was trying to um, explain like the L2 and Ethereum and this this map is actually doesn't have any um, expressway on it. All right, so introducing layer N. Um, I, I think we will see layer N as like a special layer too. Uh, it's a roll up chain, as you guys all know. Um, and it's, it helps or it, it enhance um, what developers can build on Ethereum by using um, virtual machines and create a network where all those like virtual machine can communicate easily, right? So I think the role, um, so XVM is, um, it stands for vir uh, custom virtual machine. And in layer N sense, all these XVM works like mini computers that can run their own application. So I think in that sense, it's kind of work like at chain, which is why I guess like we are, uh, uh, we are invited today to talk about that. Um, each XVM is custom built for specific needs, making things more efficient. 
And so, yeah, um, for Sushi, we are going to deploy on the um, Nord VM, which is, I think the testnet is coming out very soon. And it's an uh, exchange optimized VM. So, why layer N for SUSE? I think this actually answers a lot of um, questions for um, robot chains and, and um, app chains that why do they want to kind of partner with a D app, right? I think, yeah, it's, a, it's basically a demo to bring to life all the benefit of um, the robot chains and app chains. So, first one is performance. And yeah, the UX. Um, so because of the high speed, and it, it could facilitate smooth, smooth trading. And you know, like you, well, um, all these like, I guess like now that yeah, there's app chain and, and stuff. But initially, like there is, there is like huge problem for all the um, prep stacks. Uh, because you know, like the speed is slow, and then there's congestion, and when there's like a, I guess, special situation like you know short squeeze and stuff, like sometimes it's just got stuck because a lot of tr people are just trying to trade or make transaction. But right now, with the solution of layer N, um, a lot of the apps can actually achieve um, C5 kind of experience. So we are the same. And uh, second thing. So not uh, less about the user experience, but more about you know seamless communication. Is that um, I guess infrastructure-wise for perp stacks, there are a lot of well um, on on the centralized one. Um, it's very easy for them to kind of you know um, add a lot of different financial instrument or just like you know uh, what we think is very simple but very hard to kind of bring to life in DeFi. Uh, like, you know, collateral management, margin calculation, and all of these stuff are actually by different contracts and different chains. And we are trying to solve the problem by using layer N. And eventually, it will benefit the uh, end user as well. So another point is, like, we could also facilitate, like, cross-market strategy for traders. Um, they, they often, like, employ strategies that um, go across multiple, uh, multiple financial instruments. So I think it's pretty similar to you know the first point. Basically, we could make use of the best of you know different chains, different kind of contracts on um, yeah different contracts on different chains, and um, kind of aggregate them together. Um, third one, I think, is the most important in terms of DEX. That uh, finally, you know, the liquidity doesn't have to be fragmented. It will be shared across um, the L2s. And um, so what does it mean? It means that you know, with a deeper liquidity pool, um, you will experience less slippage and improved pricing. So I think that's like really the end result for users as well. Uh, finally, uh, it's safety and efficiency. So I think what DeFi has been trying to do is um, Based on you know the more decentralized the better, but then when you actually execute it, there are a lot of obstacles, and that's why we are all trying to find solutions to solve the problem, right? And a lot of the um, solution right now are good, uh, but it's also a compromise to decentralization. So um, very soon we will be having you know a fully on-chain order book um, that all the transactions will be recorded on the blockchain. And um, that means no more off-chain compromises and yeah, um, better settlement um, as well. So I think like if you look back at all these like benefits, it's actually brought by uh, layer N, and we kind of um, expand the benefit or bring the benefit to life uh, through user experience in a DEX. So just a quick recap, what is Sushi and Susa doing and what are, what are they, right? Um, Sushi is uh, AMM and uh, we have V2, V3 and Susa will be our latest uh, product, which is a perp dex and a supported blockchain. Um, for, so for Sushi, um, we are supporting a lot of chains, 30, over 30 chains and it includes EVM, non-EVM and Susa will be on layer N. Um, 
and the primary focus for sushi is well I'm sure you guys traded on DEX already but basically yeah swapping LPing and we're trying to provide a better um, I guess experience uh, yeah for for everyone and uh, for SUSE we want to make perpetual DEX better uh, more decentralized and um, more easy to use so yeah, the benefit of uh, the multi-chain exploration in Sushi, I think is the accessibility um, that you know, user can access to a wider, well, access, well user can use like, different chains very easily. And uh, right now we also include like, non EVM compatibility. Um, so yeah, like Aptos, right? And um, for layer N, um, as I have shared earlier, it's uh, all about performance, UX, um, better communication, shared liquidity, um, and better security and safety. So what's next? Um, Leah and I'm sure earlier they have already given a, an update. So they are launching the testnet very soon and uh, Sushi will deploy on it very quickly. I think maybe within a week or two weeks that they have launched. Um, on their phase one, like not VM. So, um, yeah, that's why Yasusa yeah, is going live also very soon in April. Um, if you want to experience SUSE um, firsthand, sign up now. It's open for testnet sign up. And, uh, yeah, thank you. And if you guys want to work with Sushi or include Sushi, sushi in your uh, GTM, let us know. Um, feel free to contact. Thank you.